Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going over some CPU temps and GPU of the Inspiron 5675 because a lot of you guys have been asking for it. First off, right now it's idle, idle temps. Uh, nothing else is open but this Ryzen Master. 2.2 gigahertz running at and settled down to about 31 degrees Celsius. Now, with it, this is with it non overclocked, of course. Okay, we're running an IDA64 system stability test, also known as a CPU stress test. So the CPU is now stressed to the, its maximum. We are 3.5 gigahertz non overclocked. The uh, um, Ryzen 7 1700X. And we're currently stabilized at 59 Celsius, though I did just start the uh, stress test, so I'm going to wait a while to see if that goes up anymore. And, by the way, you can already hear the fan. Quite loud. And after nearly 5 minutes, we are stabilized at 60 degrees Celsius, non-overclocked on our 1700X, with an IDA64 um, stability test. So yeah, now we're going to overclock it. Alrighty, we have applied an overclock of 3.8 GHz, could not get it to stay stable, at 3.9 while running an ID64 for some reason. Just my bad luck with this particular processor, I believe. Because my settings look perfectly fine. But I've got 3.8 stabilized at 1.36875 voltage and 1.05 SOC voltage on our 8 cores. We're currently running a stability test, ID64. Of course, puts the CPU under full load. These temperatures I found not to be accurate. I believe they're measuring from a different location, and I always take the Ryzen Master temperatures because, of course, it's designed for this processor. And as you can see, our temperatures peak at around 72 degrees, which is very respectable. So yeah, that's pretty much all you needed to know for the CPU temps. And you can hear my fan is like a jet engine. I'm just kidding. It's actually not all that bad. It's I mean, let's be realistic. When you're playing a game, it is not going to be this loud. This is, an, this is a stress test, alright? This is meant to make it as loud as possible. At idle temps, our GPU, which is the Radeon RX 570, stabilizes at 48 to 50 degrees Celsius. As you can see, all temperature, I mean all settings are the base settings. Just started an IDA64 stability test, this time for the GPU. Let's see what happens. And this is, by the way, with all the stock settings. And as you guys could probably tell, it does not sound like a jet engine, which is nice. Our temps are still rising, so it hasn't stabilized yet since I just started the test. But as you can see, our fan speed currently is not even a third of the way there. Probably only a fourth, maybe. And we're at 79 degrees. This is, of course, not overclocked. And I will not be overclocking it. And we are stabilized at 81, so actually not that different from what I just showed you. Current fan speed is about a third of the way. I'm actually quite curious as to why it is not higher, because 81 is not necessarily that low of a temperature. Especially since it's not overclocked. So it might need a little bit of optimization, although you can always manually control it to set an automatic. And, um, that's about it. Of course, these temps are from an IDA64 stress test, that is worth noting. Just puts it under pretty much full stress, so realistically that's not going to happen in a game. So thank you guys for watching, hope this helped, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!